and thank you for joining me on the show today. This is The Now Talks, a collection of inspiring personal stories and leadership lessons from some of the world's most iconic leaders. It is the weekly podcast for women in leadership brought to you by Nations of Women. My name is Dr. Tina Alton, and I'm your host for today and the coming weeks. Okay, so thank you again for uh, joining us for another episode of the Now Talks, the podcast for every woman in leadership. In this week, I really want us to uh, think about uh, the attitude or the mindset um, around gratitude. So we really are going to focus on the gratitude mindset as a game changer for women in leadership. And um, before I go any further, of course, you know, we're in a very uh, profound week for many, many people around the world, given us it's Easter. And uh, personally, as a person of faith, Easter is uh, one of the most important times for me as, as a person, you know, as a woman. And uh, it always brings me back to that place of gratitude because of what Easter means to me. So I think um, not just myself, but for many other uh, women and men and families around the world, we're already in that place, that season, that timing of gratitude because um, of what is happening um, in the season of Easter. And so, you know, with that in, with that in, 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 at the back of our mind, let's put it that way. How then can we um, cultivate, you know, that that gratitude mindset? That's what I hope that we can explore. Um, how cultivating a gratitude not only really will just enhance your own personal life, but also will help you to uh, succeed in your leadership. Would would elevate let's say your leadership um, skills overall um, would also help to contribute to the overall success of your journey um, as a woman in leadership. And um, also, you know, in your journey uh, for, for and with those that you're called to serve, you're called to lead, right? So first of all, let's look at why is it important uh, to be grateful. Why is it important for us that we can be grateful? And um, I think that um, really to be grateful or to express gratitude is way more than just saying, oh, thank you so much for that. Or I appreciate that. It really is. It's it's an entire mindset that, um, it, that really should encourage us to um, not just acknowledge, but appreciate and also take, take in, you know, in awe of, of, of our creation, of our being and the good things that are happening in our lives. Now, I know that all around the world, there's so much turmoil going on, there's cost of living crisis here, there, all of that stuff. But really, when you take a minute to pause, to to take in, um, to take stock of your life, I promise you, you would find some good pieces in there. And uh, for me, that is what I always try to look at is taking that pause, you know, in, in the midst of all the challenges or trials or troubles or whatever you want to call it and taking stock of the awe of my creation, you know, how I came to be. And for me, I take it one more step and that is I was created, designed for good works, for great works and, and called uh, or, or created again, if you want to put it that way, to do exploits, right? So no matter how big or how small uh, your life is, having that space uh, to take in this sense of appreciation, uh, truly, I promise you can have such a profound impact on both your, your personal life and your professional life as a leader. Um, I also want to um, add as well, you know, when I talk about mindset, 
um, we know that we are only transformed by the renewal of our mind. What do I mean by that? Everything starts with a thought. Everything starts in our mind. If it's going to be pain, joy, uh, fear, or boldness, courage, whatever it is, it starts as a thought in our mind. And so how well I'm able to develop the muscles, you know, by which I am taking um, that thought that's coming into my mind and turning it, if it's fear, how I'm taking that thought of, oh, this is scary to actually, but I don't know yet, you know, so let me try, let me take that risk, let me take that uh, opportunity, let me push myself, right? How well I can, I can uh, turn that thought around determines um, how much of my life truly gets transformed. So coming back to the concept or context of leadership as women in, in, in leadership, I really have come to believe that um, having that, that attitude, that lifestyle, that mindset of gratitude fosters a great environment for those that I work with even in my own home with my family and those that I'm called to serve. I can attest to the fact that having that attitude and mindset of gratitude really has improved uh, the overall performance of, of, of my team. And I want to tell you a story. So last year we gathered, you know, 70 uh, women leaders in South Africa. We were just coming against um, lots and lots of different, different challenges, things that were already organized, for example, transport, you know, one of the evenings, the first evening we were supposed to, you know, gather somewhere for, for, for a gathering. We'd organize a transport, I think less than maybe 10 minutes before the, the, you know, the transport was supposed to arrive. We were called, nope, you know, everything has changed. The, 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 uh, person that was supposed to uh, provide the transport decided, no, I'm not going to do it again. But it's the, the 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 attitude of gratitude that, you know what, actually all things work together for good. Yes, do we, do we feel frustrated that this is happening? Absolutely. Is it challenging given that we have less than 10 minutes to, you know, think plumpy and put something different? Absolutely. Um, is it... Um, is it what we expected? No. Do we wish we didn't have to deal with that? You bet. But I saw my team just carry that attitude, that positive mindset of, you know what, it doesn't matter. This is what is happening. But we can still be grateful that, you know what, we're all here. We've all arrived from different nations safely. We're together. We're having fun. We're having a great time. And what is ahead is far greater than the challenge that we are facing in this moment. And I saw, you know, the 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 whole atmosphere just turned around. Not one minute did anybody, you know, flutter and say, oh gosh, this is, you know, even though it would have been easy to, but just maintaining that attitude of gratitude in terms of looking at the flip side is women have been traveling. Some had been traveling over, you know, 20, what is seven hours. One person had been traveling like three days, you know, to get to us. So we were looking at all the other sides of, you know, the safe, the safety that we had experienced in traveling from our different nations to be there, the joy that we were sharing, the relationships that we were building, the, the, just the fun that was happening. We chose to focus on that and, and be in that mood, that state of, you know, we're grateful. We're grateful that even though this is happening, look at all these other wonderful things that are happening here. And so we choose to focus on that and we choose to stay in gratitude. So I can attest to um, the fact that when you maintain and foster that mindset, that you know, lifestyle of gratitude, it really does foster a whole different a lively, supportive environment for those that you work with, those that you lead, and um, actually increases, you know, uh, everybody's dedication, commitment. It also, I believe, empowers um, everybody to create a culture where 
um, you you know you feel you're valued and appreciated. So even in the midst of that, just seeing how the whole team, you know, pull together, that in my opinion is a team that feels that they're valued, a team that feels they're appreciated. And so you know what, I'm gonna put my best foot forward. I'm a I'm going to do what needs to be done. I'm going to focus on the goodness that is happening here whilst tackling the challenge that is right before me, right? I also want to look at um, the fact that, I mean, some some of you prefer facts, right? It's like, where is the science? Where is the evidence? So as a as as a as somebody with the background in psychology, I know that facts matter you know, research matter, what, where's the science behind that? So um, if we come to that, that side as well, in terms of gratitude, why it's important, there is research to actually show that when we, when we practice um, this, you know, um, attitude, mindset of, of, of being grateful, there is many, many benefits that we can reap. One of them is that you become more happier in your life. Um, another is that it helps to reduce the stresses in our lives. You have a better and wonderful, um, how would I put it, like mental health space, if you will. And even your own physical health will be improved as well. Why is that? Because if I'm focusing on um, good things that are happening in my life, the fact that I woke up this morning, the fact that I can still hear, my eyes are still working, I can eat, I can move my hands, I can, you know, the fact that nothing is broken in my body and I'm still able to function compared to maybe somebody who unfortunately is in hospital. If I choose to to, to focus on the fact that I woke up this morning, I am alive. You know what? There is something completely different that floods my being, um, and and really helps to push back any challenge that is you know is is presented through my day because my mind is focused on something far greater, far bigger than the challenge. And there is this saying that everything you focus on expands. Everything you focus on becomes bigger and increases. So if I'm focusing on the challenge that I have, then that is going to be way bigger and greater before me than the thoughts that I woke up this morning, I am alive, my family are well, we are all home together. You know, that brings joy to me, that reduces my my stress. My mental health is in a better place and physically I am well and able to, to effectively uh, create solutions for the challenges that I may be facing, right? I also want to look at it again from a professional setting, for example. Um, I think I'd already shared, you know, already that um, the attitude of gratitude really helps to increase productivity. I also believe, you know, I always like to talk from my own um, experience or something that I've had to experience, something that I've had to walk through, not hearsay, not just something I've read, but, you know, what has transpired in your own life, Tina? And for me, it's that when I, when I'm, you know, when I'm choosing to stay in that mindset of gratitude, I'm able to make better decisions, right? And I'm able to um, I would say collaborate effectively because I I am coming from a place of, you know what, I'm choosing to see the bigger picture than the what ifs, right? And that is because uh, when we're in that place of gratitude, it makes you yourself, you feel valued. And uh, when you feel that way, our brain or your brain would release the, um, the um, what do you call it? hormone, you know, called um, oxytocin, um, that feel-good hormone, right, which helps to build trust and it helps to strengthen relationships. So um, there we are for those that, you know, have the uh, need to have, okay, where is the science? Where is the research to back all these things that you're saying, Tina? Um, There we are. When we 
walk and develop an entire lifestyle of gratitude, your brain naturally will release the oxytocin, uh, which is the feel-good hormone. When you, you know, your body is working in sync with your heart, is working in sync with your spirit, is working in sync with your with your mind, you know, your soul. When everything is working together in sync, then of course, you know, you're able to build that that sense of trust and, you know, relationships are better strengthened as well. So now then, how can we actually develop? Because, okay, Tina, you talked about, you know, develop the mindset, develop how exactly are you going to do that? So here I want us to look at some practical uh, practical ways that we can actually utilize to develop that mindset. So, I'm, I mean, it's no particular order. So one is not necessarily higher than the other. You choose, you decide, you know what, this is going to be top of my list or this is going to be my priority. But I just want to give you five five ways or five keys that you can use to help you develop that gratitude mindset. And uh, one is actually keeping a gratitude journal, right? So um, every day, I would say the five-minute pause. Day or even pockets throughout your day. It's not that hard to find in a five-minute pocket uh, of time or one minute, you know, 60 second. And you think, oh gosh, Tini, I have no idea how busy my day gets. Well, do you take a loo break during your day? Do you go to the bathroom, you know, to have a water break? Well, whilst you're sitting down taking your water break, you know, take, take 20 seconds out of that moment and focus your mind, your heart, your spirit on something that you're grateful for. And you think, well, I don't know what I can be grateful for here. You know, my day has been very, very hard. Well, here is your tip. Be grateful for the fact that you are healthy enough to take a water break. Because guess what? There are people in hospital who cannot pass water. They have to either have medication or have some form of medical assistance to support them in order to pass water. So if you're if you're stuck for what can you be grateful for? Just sitting, you know, sitting in the bathroom, uh, taking that water break, be grateful um, that your body can do that. And I'm sure you'd find many, many other things to, you know, to to focus on in terms of gratitude. But this is really, you know, we like to be very, very practical and talk about the things that sometimes, frankly, nobody wants to talk about, but it is true. So spend a few mo- you know, minutes, five minutes each day and write down the things that you're grateful for. This very simple practice can help to shift your focus from what is going wrong to what is actually going right. And I've given you the very, very bad, you know, like the, the scraping the barrel um, example on how to find something to be grateful for. Right. So number one is keep a great um, gratitude journal and find pockets in your in your day. You know, the five minute pauses that you you you're grateful for something. Then at the end of your day, sit down and actually write it down. What are you grateful for today? Number two, express gratitude to others. You know, uh, make a conscious effort to appreciate the people around you for their contributions, uh, whether it's a friend, a colleague, or or anybody, right? Even if it's somebody that's serving your coffee, um, who has helped you to to make your day? And um, I was listening to um, an audio uh, teaching and talked about just in the last three days, you know, write down, Who has been a gift to you in your life? Who has come into your life? I mean, they may already be a friend, but who has come into, as in engaged with you in your life within the last three days that really, truly blessed you, that really, truly just, you know, was, 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 um, was, was able to do something or say something or engage with you in a way 
that brought you to that place of gratitude, feeling valued, feeling appreciated, feeling that you matter, because all these things matter, right? So express your gratitude to them and reach out to them and tell them, you know, I just want you to know that just just by your phone call, your text message or whatever it is, really, truly was was something that, you know, made my day. And if you want to express more, that's fine. But be conscious and choose to thank the people around you in your life, crossing your path for their contributions to your life. Be in that moment. Um, number three is practice stillness, quiet time mindfulness, if that's how you want to call it. So whether it's quiet time, meditation, mindfulness, or just stillness, pay attention to the present moment. Appreciate all the small things, the everyday blessings in your life. Every day you're able to go to your work and come back. Every day you're able to serve other people, you know, wherever they at because you're called to lead and to serve them. Every day your mouth is able to open and you're able to eat your food or cook your dinner or, you know, drink water and all of those things. You're able to wash, you know, all the little things that we take for granted. Just be still for a minute and take in, take in how these things are really um, everyday blessings in your life. Number four, reframe the negative thoughts. Do we all have negative thoughts sometimes? Absolutely. I think it happens to everybody and can happen to everybody, even the best of us, right? Um, sometimes, especially when we face a challenge. So try and find the silver lining or what is the lessons that you can learn from that situation, from that experience and reframe those negative thoughts. I talked about be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And so um, if you want to um, transform your life, then you have to really, you know, change change the narrative, rewrite the narrative that your mind sometimes might want you to, right? And as you as you change and reframe those thoughts, those feelings, those whatever it is, um, you are then able to clearly see, okay, what is in here for me to learn? What can I learn from this situation? What is the what is the experience that I can take out of this to enrich my life with? Okay. And number five is share your gratitude stories. Tell other people, encourage other people so that they are also touched by your, you know, experience. I think as leaders, I've I've said this and keep saying and keep saying, as leaders, you are a hope dealer. You deal in hope. You are a trader of hope. How do you trade hope? How do you deal in hope? It's by sharing your gratitude experience. What have you been grateful for? And as you're sharing your gratitude experience, you help to create a culture of appreciation and support. And, you know, for me, myself, like um, just a couple of days ago, I'd been invited to um, an, an, an event somewhere um, that I traveled to. And just just looking at the room and thinking, you know, wow, like it would take me decades and decades and decades to either meet these amazing people or to connect with them. But just because somebody values me enough to say, you know what, Tina, I value you enough. I value what you, you, you carry. I value what you're about, your vision, your mission. And I want you to come and be part of this, participate in that. And so, you know, I just had to take that uh, five minute pause and just be grateful for, you know, this person just recognizing the value that I carry and just thinking, wow, God, just thank you for this, for this person. Thank you that, you know, you, 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 you made her to see, you know, the value that I can contribute that she would extend such a wonderful opportunity to me. And just stop, put, you know, just, there's so much you can you can take out of a moment if you will allow your mind to re re reimagine 
if you would allow your mind to take in all the goodness that is experienced. And so share your gratitude stories. Tell other people how, you know, how your life has been enriched by the people that are coming into your life. And so to really develop uh, a, a, a mindset of gratitude, really, I'm bringing us to conclusion here. It's going to take practice. It's a bit like going to the gym. You know, you have to keep, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pushing or press ups or whatever it is, just going to the gym one day isn't going to make you buff, right? Or if you want to be an athlete, just running one day is not going to cut it. It has to be a daily, daily practice, daily push up, daily exercise, and daily doing, you know, daily putting in the daily investment, if you will. So it is going to take some practice on a daily, consistent basis. Um, and the benefits, I promise you, are truly transformative. So by you incorporating incorporating um, gratitude um, into your daily routine um, and really cultivating it as a leadership lifestyle, you're going to create such an, an inspired environment, inspired team, um, inspire your own self and those that you're called to serve as well. So some key takeouts for you. Um, you know, if you don't even listen to everything, this is this is a must for you. Number one is that gratitude is truly essential um, for you as a leader, for you as a woman, um, because it fosters it fosters a positive work environment and enhances you know, engagement for everybody that you work with or serve, right? Um, the science behind uh, this practice uh, also shows that it has numerous and, and many, many professional uh, benefits. I talked about reducing stress. I talked about your mental health, your physical well-being, and um, so much we have to listen to it to actually uh, grab, grab it, right? Um, cultivating Sorry, I'm getting a call through. So let's just cut that out. Um, so gratitude is essential in 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 your your journey as a leader, right? It's it's essential. Um, it it has great benefits. Cultivating that gratitude um, is a daily journey right? Daily, daily, daily journey, a bit like the gym. So keep a gratitude journal, express thanks, have the mindfulness or stillness or quiet time and um, begin to see your life transformed. If uh, this has been uh, useful to you, or maybe you have different ways in which you, you know, express or walk that journey of gratitude, I would love to know what else would you love you know, to what I've shared here, because obviously our time is so small, you can't really, um, you can't really um, exhaust everything. So share with me, what else have you, what else would you add, right, to um, what I've already shared here, okay? Um, so thank you so much for joining us. And um, remember that gratitude is a heart that um, becomes a magnet for success. It's it's a heart that um, you know cultivates um, a, a really rich soil for others to be able to grow from. So um, I hope that your professional life, your personal life, will begin to flourish, and that you would. Um, you know, put into practice what you've learned today about developing that um, attitude and mindset of gratitude. So until then, I hope that this gratitude mindset uh, truly will become a game changer for you as a woman in leadership. Let us know how you do. Let us know what is specific, um, you know, uh, principles or specific keys are you implementing in your life? Let us know what else you would add. And um, until we come your way next next week, keep that oxytocin being released constantly. And remember that a heart that is gr grateful is a heart that is joyful. Take care. 
and uh, see you next week. And that's all for this week. You have been listening to Dr. Tina Alton with The Now Talks, the weekly podcast for women in leadership, brought to you by Nations of Women. All that remains is for me to say, have a fantastic week, stay safe, and reach out if you need any help now at nationsofwomen.com. Until next time, enjoy the pursuit of your potential. And remember, now is your time. Mm-hmm.